So in our last video, we created this drill box and then we saved it in our holes, threads, and drawing sheets folder. And now that we have it saved, let's make a drawing sheet with it. So we'll go to design, drawing from design, make sure my personal drawing template is selected and hit OK. With base view selected, let's change it to top and let's make it a one-to-one -one scale and see how big that is. And oh, that's that's way too big. Let's tell it to be 0.5. And that's too small. So let's try right in the middle. Let's try 0.75. And that looks just about right. And so let's go ahead and put it slightly above this arrow towards the middle here and hit OK. And so then now I have my top face. Let's create a section right in the middle of it. So let's go to our section view. I'm going to select my top face and I'm going to hover over this circle until I get that green mark and I'm going to drag out with my little dotted lines and click drag to the other side and click and right click and continue and drag it down and let's make sure just visible edges is selected so turn off hidden edges and hit OK and so now you can see we got our section AA I'm actually going to drag this off to the left I think okay so that's a section view of our drill box why is this useful well we can actually put down notes about these holes and they're actually called hole notes and instead of actually writing it all out ourselves fusion will actually figure it out for us because we use the whole feature it's going to recognize what those holes are so let's go over here to text and go down to the drop down menu and let's find hole and thread note and it's asking me to select a hole i'm going to start with the one on the left and i'm going to drag it up and click and you'll see it just says it's a 0.25 diameter hole, nothing special, that cuts all the way through my shape. And we already knew that. What happens if I click the next one? And I drag it right above this one. You'll notice it says it is a 0.25 diameter hole that only goes 1.5 inches deep with a counterbore diameter of 0.75 and a depth of 0.25. What are those talking about? Well, if I grab my dimension tool real quick, we can actually figure that out. The width of my counterbore from here to here is 0.75. That's what's going on here. This symbol right here means counterbore. You can see that it's coincidentally the same shape. And it says the depth is 0.25. What that's talking about is right there. That is 0.25. But then the diameter of the hole itself, well, that's 0.25. And then the total height of the hole is exactly 1.5 and that's where these four numbers come from let's go ahead and undo and get rid of all these extra dimensions that we don't want let's go back to text and select hole and thread note and let's select this hole now and drag it up and you'll see it has the same naming convention but it actually has different dimensions it's that makes sense because it was a different sized hole the hole was a little bit wider so its diameter should be a little bit bigger but its counterbore was a little bit thinner so the counterbore diameter should be a little bit smaller, the depth went a little bit lower, and hopefully you're catching on to the pattern. The symbol means depth. Okay, what about this hole right here? Let's drag it up. And so what's going on? Well, there's a lot to break down here, but it's nice that Fusion does it for us. It's telling us the diameter of the hole itself is 0.2155 and it has a depth of one inch. It only goes down from top to bottom one inch. And then it says the threads are one fourth inch in diameter and there are 28 of them per inch and it's a UNF, meaning it's very fine or very sharp threads. And then this is giving us information about our countersink. Again, you'll notice, well, instead of a counter bore being square shaped like our counter bores are, it's sort of more a triangle shape, which is why it's sort of creating this carrot here. And so this is how whole notes work in Fusion. So let's go ahead and just put down those last two real quick and be done with this video. We can go to hole and thread note and select this face and drag it up. And you'll see it gives me a diameter, a depth, and thread notes, but it doesn't give me anything about a counter sink or a counter bore because there is none. And then one more, drag it out right here. And same thing, it gives me a diameter, a depth, a thread note and again nothing about a counter bore or a countersink because there is none and hit ok and let's go ahead and save this file drill box drawing 
let's add the words section view and hit save. And we are done with this video.